What happens if a guardian ad litem wants to talk to a parent and the parent refuses to speak with them? This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. So overlooking the meeting are these two completely non-controversial and trustworthy characters. Absolutely no reason I can see to worry that this board might bias toward the government as opposed to the people. Although in fairness, look at that. Not something you see every day. And that too. Now the last time I was here they had me sign in and I did do that. I was kind of caught off guard by that. hadn't thought about whether I should sign in or not before I got here. This time I thought well I should probably not sign in and see what happens but this time they did not ask me to, to sign in. I should also point out that uh, Chris who you were watching earlier uh, who um, escorted me up here did in fact keep her word quickly when she said that she was going to come down in a few minutes. It was probably less than that. So there, there are several reasons why it's important not to have those, you know, I guess there was two locked doors I had to go through to get here. I was held up for about 10 minutes in the process. What, most reporters don't have time, the luxury of time, right? They, don't, they can't plan when they leave to get here because they're doing something beforehand in some other location. So they're always rushing to get here. They're often going to get here late. I know she said there hadn't been any reporters, which is an even bigger deal, I guess. but. They should. There should not be anything that's slowing them down from getting to the place that they need to be, which oftentimes is they need to be at the meeting before the meeting starts. So there, you know, there's nothing standing in the way of a, re a reporter getting to the state house. Uh, I mean, they just walk in and walk straight to the meeting that they want to attend. There's no explaining yourself. There's no two locked doors. There's no secure facilities. Are no secure facilities. Are you on the board? I am. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, what happens if a guardian ad litem wants to talk to a parent and the parent refuses to speak with them? Uh, okay. That is not something that we would get involved with on the board. That would be... Uh, I, I presume that would be something that uh, would be done by uh, through the judge. What happened? Or uh, are you sending GALs out there that that uh, sometimes get refused? That people refuse to talk to them? I have no idea. We, we're not. Just so we're clear. We're not sending GALs anywhere. Well, that's true, right? You're just over. You oversee them, correct? That's the way to look at it. We we are uh, we are a regulatory board, uh, similar to any other state regulatory board. Okay. Uh, is there? Do you know of any restriction on recording one's interaction with a GAL? If if a if a parent wants to record all their interactions with a GAL. Is there without, a, uh, without looking at our regulations, which are in the process of being revised, and um, I couldn't tell you if we have any restrictions. Uh, I don't know how. I really have no idea how the courts would handle it. Okay. Well, I notice you're a member of the general public, and I guess that's good to have on any government board. It's not always there. Uh, well, there. Hello, Christine. How are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Um, yeah, there are, two, there are two public members here. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Mr. Robbins. Hi, how are you? What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.